Hello, this is a short presentation to demonstrate how to create a partial CUI to integrate a plugin or content that you deploy via the AutoCAD Exchange Apps tab with AutoCAD using its ribbon bar. In particular, I'm going to show you how to create a plugin that integrates a panel with the existing plugins tab which is available in the AutoCAD main CUI. Now there's lots of information in the AutoCAD help files itself on how to create partial CUIs or how to edit the main CUIs to create new elements. But something which is a little bit less obvious is how to create partial CUIs that add elements to tabs which already exist in the AutoCAD main CUI. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Generally our guidelines are if you have a small simple plugin that only needs to add a single panel to a ribbon bar, you would add it to this plugins tab. If your plugin is more complicated, then you would probably create a partial CUI but defined a tab specifically for your application. So first thing I'm going to do is invoke the CUI dialog and I'm going to create a partial CUI. So I go to the transfer tab and because I want to add to this plugins tab I'm going to, this is the main CUI here, I'm going to find the definition of the plugins tab and I'm going to copy that across to my partial CUI like so and then I'm going to save that so I'll call it call it sample plugin CUI and we'll save that, we'll go back to the customize tab and we'll open it. And there it is. Okay, so now we're editing the sample plugin CUI, and we see because we dragged the plugins tab across, that's already in the CU in the partial CUI. The reason we dragged it across like that is because we need to make sure that we use exactly the same alias for that tab as is defined in the main CUI. AutoCAD will match tabs by this unique, unique alias. It doesn't actually matter if any, if all the other parameters are different, if for example the name is different. If the alias is the same, then the panel will be added to the existing tab. Similarly, the name can be the same, but if the alias is different, AutoCAD will think you want to create a new tab. So anyway, by copying it, we ensure that everything is correct, and this alias shouldn't change between AutoCAD releases. So we've got our plugins tab, and now we want to create a new command. So we click this button here to create a new command, and I'll just fill in the information here. I'll unimaginatively call it my command, and the description should be a meaningful description because this is what will be displayed on the tooltip when you hover over the command in the ribbon bar. Give it a meaningful description. The, the macro here we're going to invoke a command so note that I'm using the underscore here to invoke the global definition of my command if you're supporting multiple language versions this means that you only have to have a single CUI file potentially uh, I guess you have to localize names but at least the macros are always using the global commands you don't have to worry if you're using a non-English version of AutoCAD for example so always use this underscore to call a command name. Then there's this element ID which we have to edit and the reason we have to edit that is that if your macro has an element ID which is the same as an element ID that another plugin has defined or that is defined by AutoCAD itself then AutoCAD can get fused about displaying some of the information for your macro on perhaps a different ribbon bar element or um, from a different ribbon bar element it may display the information on yours so Anyway, you, ne you need to make sure it's unique, and MMU underscore 0001 is not unique. So, we've defined our unique ID, and last thing we need to do is actually define an image, and I've um, got one of those that I created earlier. There's our icon. For a large image, we need a bitmap which is 32 pixels by 32 pixels. For a small image, 16 pixels by 16 but if you only define the large one then when a small one is needed it should be automatically scaled from the, the large one but of course sometimes the simple scaling can make the 
the image look a bit ugly so you may prefer to actually specify a, a small one okay so that's our, our command is created so we now go back to the the ribbon section here and I'm going to create a new panel and we'll give this some um, useful name so we'll call it my plugin panel and the display text which is the text which displays here at the base of a panel we'll give it our application name again has been imaginatively named as my plugin and having defined that panel before I forget now I need to remember to drag that up so that it's now we're saying that we want my panel to display under the AutoCAD main plugins tab and we also want to take our command and we drag it here so that it appears in the panel So we'll specify some of the display information for this. I'm going to set the button style as a large button but without text. So that'll show the 32 by 32 bitmap but with no text supporting it. And then we just scroll down and make sure we've added the other information. The group name, I normally use my company name as a fictitious company name. If you want a special display name for the command, maybe we want it to display in uppercase, we can we can do that. We have a macro still there what we defined before and that should be all the information we need. So just in summary we drag the plugins tab into our partial CUI from the main CUI, we defined our own command, we then defined our own panel and we added our command to that panel. We've we've just set the various parameters we want as our default and we've dragged that panel up into the plugins tab and so now we're ready to save the sample CUI plugin we apply it and we click OK and now something unexpected has happened here because rather than adding to our existing plugins tab AutoCAD has actually created a new tab but that's just a temporary effect it's just a, a side effect of having just edited the partial CUI in the CUI dialog. If I actually unload that, so I go to CUI load and select my CUI and unload it and now I browse to that CUI and reload it and go to the plugins tab. We see that our plugin has actually our CUI has actually put the plugin panel in the right place. So if I hover over this now you see we have the, the the command name, the command description, we have the plugin, we have the panel name here set to the plugin, we have our icon displayed and of course if I click on that I don't actually have a plugin loaded which defines a command called my command but if I do click that you see that it does actually try and invoke the command at the command line of course because that was the menu macro we defined so for a plugin that's that's all you need to do if you have a single command plugin that's that's the best way to integrate your plugin with the AutoCAD ribbon bar if you have content then you may decide to create uh, some ribbon bar elements that give people access to your content but if the content is more just a block library with no controls that is just deployed on a machine and you want to tell the customer how to access that or, or maybe there are some menu you, you may maybe you have some menu bar entries which you need you need to display a help file to tell the, the customer how to get to that then you will want to display you st you still need to create a panel for your for the plugin tab but as a minimum we ask that you have a button which displays a help file when you press the button and that's documented in our guidelines and we'll actually help you to create that help file but you, you enter the information to auto generate an HTML help file when you submit your your block library or your plugin to the store but we're going to use I'm just going to copy and paste here a different menu macro so I'm going to go back into the CUI and I'm going to browse to my sample plugin and I'm going to go to my command that I defined and I'm going to edit the macro. So I have a, a plugin which is basically just deploying a block library 
And so I want to display my standard help files for user when they click this button. The idea is the user has become used to clicking, looking on the plugins tab to find out what to do with things. In the case of content, if we don't give them access to the content from the from our panel, we need to give them access to a help file that tells them where to find the content, which is why I have this different menu macro here. So what does this do? Well, this is invoking the browser command. Note I use the underscore again. And it's launching our help file, which is stored in our plugin, in our, in our default browser. And the way it does this is it knows that typically we install our plugins to the app data location. And if I just go to my Windows browser here, if I type percent app data, that will take me to the location on my machine, my machine which is defined by the app data environment variable. And when I click on that, I see that it's gone to my user app data roaming directory. So you see, that's my username, we're in app data, we're in roaming, and then my plugin will be installed typically in Autodesk application plugins and then to that I have to obviously append my bundle name which I know because I'm a person who's naming the bundle and then the, the path in, inside that bundle which of course is just a folder to my actual help file which you know might be in content perhaps under resources or wherever and that is what we have in this menu macro we have invoking a command browser and then to the browser we're passing we have some list function here to concatenate to some strings so we concatenate the result of the call to get env passing in app data to return the string which is defined by the app data environment variable we append to that Autodesk application plugins our bundle name and then the location within the bundle of our help file and so if I were to now run this it would actually invoke the browser and launch it and we would actually have in my case it would be Internet Explorer would appear and would actually display the file which was located at that location on my hard drive and that is how you create a simple partial CUI file to integrate your plugin or content with the AutoCAD ribbon bar and in particular the plugins tab on the AutoCAD ribbons bar Thank you very much.